Coach? Hey, Lance. Uh, what, what do you think was maybe the, the biggest problem for the defense today? I think there's a few. Um, you know, again, I, I don't know our total missed tackles. Um, I think just movement and getting people near the line of scrimmage enough, it, it just seemed like a lot of contacts taking place five, seven yards downfield. Um, missed tackles, leverage issues, um, not playing aggressively. I just still think we're so tentative when we blitz and, and do things. I, I, you know, I don't know if it's a confidence issue, if it's an experience issue, if it's a strength issue uh, or, or where we're at, um, that needs to be continued to be evaluated. And uh, the, the offense really never got going except for that one series in the second quarter. Um, what do you think kept you guys from building any momentum off of that? Yeah, I, you know, multiple breakdowns, not ability, uh, the inability again to establish a running game consistently. Um, we were poor in blitz pickups early, especially the first three quarters. Um, a lot of those, and, and there's no rhythm, and then you're not, you're, you don't get a chance to get a rhythm going, and, uh, and it just snowballs on us. But when you have a kind of one-sided loss like that, what do you tell the guys after the game? Well, again, we have to own it. We have to understand. I mean, there's there's a part, again, I don't know what point I could probably quickly look here. Um, in the third quarter, I don't know what time it was, uh, but you know, here we are in a one-possession game in the third quarter for the second consecutive week. And then, then, then it kind of gets away from us. That's so there's something there and we've got to find a way to build upon that and overcome the things that we're not doing well in the third and fourth quarter. Um, again, I, I've, I've said it to him and I'll say exactly what I, what I said to him and I've said it every game is um, good or bad, win or lose. We have to own what's on the film. We have to build on what's positive. And then when we see something there, we can't be defensive or blaming in any other way. And uh, we have to, be coachable and, and get back to work on Monday. And I told them that I need to do a better job for them. And, uh, and, and we all do. So if we all take ownership of it, uh, I think we'll continue to move in, in, in a direction we want to be. Anything else for coach? Lance, Lance, you kind of discussed this a little bit last, but just big picture, what are your big takeaways from a game like this? I'm highly disappointed. Um, in some ways, it, you know, again, it, it, it can be revealing in some areas and others are just, dis, you know, again, um, where are we as far as experience and confidence and where those lie along with execution and then when things can get away from us, how quickly they can. Um, and understanding that we have a lot of work to do in a lot of different ways. And that's, you know, and um, again, we'll continue to evaluate everything that we do in the program. And, and, and that's probably my biggest takeaways today. I mean, somebody said this to me, I guess I could say this is, the amount of experience that our last two opponents have had, you know, and game snaps and you can see and, you know, and, and, you know, we're not going to make excuses. The facts are the facts and, and we've got to find a way to overcome some of the things that, uh, you know, that we have right now. And I, I think we will, and I, I'm counting on our seniors and our leaders to uh, continue to do so. Lance, the, the score and, and the score, really the situation at halftime seemed to indicate that you guys had all, all the momentum. Did you sense that in the locker room at halftime? And did you think they came yeah. out with that feeling in the third quarter? Yeah, we talked about it. You know, it was a way to, you know, not only did we score and had our, our one real drive, obviously, and then we got another stop and had the ball. We were going to take a shot and it wasn't open. So we just complete underneath. So we run it out and we still have momentum and have the ball coming out and, you know, we just didn't capitalize on it. And I think that was deflating. And, um, you know, and 
you know, and then we had, again, I think we were three and out two in a row there again. And that that's, that's the part we've got to find a way to, to, uh, to be better. Hey, uh, you went went to Jalen there early in the fourth quarter. Was was being hurt at all, or you just wanted to kind no. of give Jalen some he, reps? Just wanted to get him some reps. You know, he had taken enough hits for the day, um, running and and through the air. So we just again uh, give Jalen some time. Got Miles in there as well. Like I've said before, they've worked hard and have done well. I just thought by score, um, you know, just a philosophical thing. There was. A chance. Uh, I thought that you know we've had a lot of players work hard in this program, and I wanted to get them on the field a little bit as as some of the some of the guys um, as we could, and and especially at quarterback. What do you think of the turnovers the defense created? Oh, it's great. You know, we talked about creating more in some of those. So to get those when we did, uh, I again were were. Uh, you know, huge momentum swings for us and gives us a shot in the arm and all those things. And, uh, you know, it was, it was great to see. I think both were by secondary players, which is good because we need them to be more physical. We we have to be able to not only do that, but but get off um, perimeter blocks better and, and do those things. So um, to see them do it um, was great. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.